Hello, my name is Kelly Sendall. I'm the manager of the Natural History section here at the Rob E.C. Museum. And today we're going to leave my office and go to Fleming Beach to collect animals for the tide pool. Fleming Beach is good because it's not too far from the parking lot and it's local. It has a mixture of uh, small and larger rocks and good healthy mud on a small beach uh, so that you can find you know, just about every major category of invertebrates to put into the pool. When we're on the beach, I'm careful about trotting on uh, too many things, so you're uh, limiting your passage over the beach to some extent. And when you turn over rocks, uh, you'll find different animals. When you lift seaweed out of the way, you'll find different animals. You make a small hole in the mud, you might find something. But I always try to return what I've disturbed back to the way it was, because rocks, for instance, have a very notable upper and lower part and they don't change very quickly so you have to have uh, some respect for the animals down there. When we find things I'll remove them from their habitat and they might be free living so not attached to anything or they might be attached to rock or kelp or another animal so I'll take a few things and put them into each of the f of the white five gallon buckets being careful not to overcrowd the animals while in there and also making sure that the water stays cool so that they don't overheat and expire on the way to the museum. There's some things that do well in the aquarium. Obviously things that are sessile, that is to say they don't move around, will usually be a good draw. But things like uh, wandering crabs, some fish will cause problems in the tide pool because if they run out of their regular food, they'll start to go for whatever is available. We have to make a list of each species and how many individuals that we collect. And at the end of the year, I report back to the federal government. The tide pool is very popular. Whenever I go up there to have a, a walk through the exhibit, I notice um, usually quite a few kids and family members, others standing around the tide pool. And we usually have a docent to help identify and, and talk about some of the animals in the, in the water. Having the tide pool is a good idea because it is that step further and I think adding that element helps people remember things about the life in BC. So that'll come, where's the current command? The water.